Everybody, how's it going? I'm Sethum and welcome back to another video for Ark Survival Evolved. Today in this video, folks, I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about taming the beaver. Now, this is a bit of a, a complicated thing to do. Uh, sometimes, or well, most often, beavers do tend to be around water and they do tend to be in groups. But before we get into it, let's get into what you will need to tame it. You will need the superior kibble and in order to ride it, you will also need a saddle. So... With that being said and done, let's have a look at the saddle and what you will need to be able to craft it. So I'm just going to type this in the search right here. So you need to be level 61 in order to craft it and learn the anagram. And then these are the materials that you will need in order to craft it. So that's pretty much it with this. Now, for the purposes of taming a beaver, uh, the best way I find to do this is to build a trap. Now, this is going to be slightly different. Now, I am on Ragnarok, and I do have two times the creature spawn turned up. So, we're going to build a bit of a unique trap. This is pretty good for areas like here on Ragnarok, where there are a ton of beavers. And if you aggro one, you pretty much end up aggroing the entire lake. So, I'm going to show you the trap that I use. This is pretty much a decent trap. So, we're going to try and build a... Uh, three by three trap as you can see there's already three around them around me and if I aggro one of these beavers I will have a ton of beavers to deal with I am also going to trap the beaver on foot so I'm looking for an area where I can do a three by three foundation so I'm gonna have to pick up these foundations and try and find a slightly different location it kind of sucks but it is what it is uh, I do suggest that you use stone for this beavers can damage thatch and wood and uh, you'll see why you want to use stone <laughs> once we get to the kiting and trapping section of the video. As I said, this particular trap will have a bit of a different design. So, I mean, most of you will know the, the basic design for it, but it does have a little quirk to it. Now, of course, I'm not going to be using the wyvern. The wyvern is just a mount for me to get from point A to point B in the game. It is just what it is. So let's have a look here. I just need to find. Okay. So I might need to remove that rock. That's the problem there. I try and not get off the mount as much as I can. Simply because there are a lot of bad things around in this area as well. It's not just the beavers that I need to worry. The beavers are passive unless you aggro them. And then when you aggro them. You do have to contend with all of its brethren. So keep that in mind. Next thing, as you can see, there is a foundation right in the center. So we're going to place down some pillars. This will have a purpose because this is where we will have the uh, taming platform. So basically, on top of this, we will have a uh, ceiling and some ladders going down. And we get up on that ceiling and start kiting in the beavers. The beavers should be able to just pretty much fall into the trap and you'll have a ton of beavers meaning you'll have to kind of kill off the ones you don't want so we'll just surround it with walls we'll leave one exit in case things go wrong so that means i will place a door frame they should not be able to get out through the door frame you will see that later on in the video i'm just trying to also keep my personal inventory clean so what I don't need, I'll put back into the Wyvern's inventory. So apart from getting around from point A to point B on the Wyvern on Ragnarok, I also use it as a carry mount because it can carry quite a bit. Next thing, we will just place ramps all around down into the ground. I say all around because beavers, as you can see, do tend to move quite a bit, especially in water. They can swim pretty fast. And uh, we don't know which way the beavers will be coming towards us once we aggro them. So there's a little thing right there. There's a rock that I need to get rid of. And that should allow me to place the ramp all the way into the ground. So let's get to it. Alright. Now I did try and find a surface that is as flat as possible. That is, I suppose, one of the biggest things to keep in mind with this trap. We'll do the ramps on this side. And it's kind of the same thing all around this trap. We'll just try and place them all the way to the ground. Now, the problem with this on this end is, as you can see, I can't place ramps all the way to the ground, which is a bit annoying. So what I would do there is I'd place some other foundations just to help the beavers up the ramp. 
So I'd probably remove all of those things that are in the way, then place maybe some foundations down. But I'm not going to go too complicated into this trap. You get the idea. You can make the adjustments that you need as and when you need them. I'll try and remove this rock. Maybe we get lucky and we're able to put the ramp all the way into the ground. I doubt it, though. We'll take this one as well, just in case it's in the way. Let's give this a go. I doubt it will work, but... Yeah, okay, so it doesn't work. So what I do right there is I'd put some foundations and then ramps from those foundations into the ground. That normally tends to uh, do the trick. But this time around, I'm not. I'm going to be lazy and not do that. <laughs> Same thing on this end. Whilst there is a ramp covering the door frame, it will still allow us to exit the trap if we do find ourselves, uh, for whatever reason, falling into the trap. Just gonna get rid of this parasol because it's in the way, it's gonna complicate everything. So clear this guy out. Try and not aggro the beavers, that is the aim of the game. Hopefully, I can kill him before he gets away. There we go. Target achieved. And last thing that we need to do is place a ceiling on the pillars, and then we want to place some ladders going down so that we can get up. Uh, the ladders only have one purpose, and that is for us to get on top of the ceiling without the use of a wyvern. You can use whatever mount you want to carry your things. You don't need a flyer. Uh, I only have a flyer simply because uh, the map is huge here on Ragnarok, and to get to this location, it can't take a while if I'm going to go on a different mount. Plus, the wyvern can carry quite a bit. So I'm going to park my wyvern well out of sight, well out of danger. Make sure we don't get any dangerous creatures wanting to kill my carry mount right there there we go also you will need a weapon uh, with which you can kill the unwanted beavers because you will get a ton of them that you don't want and uh, you also want to have either a long neck rifle or a crossbow with tranks ready you'll want to have some narcotics with you as well and obviously the kibble and the saddle ready to go so the reason we put the ladders here is for this. We can just climb up and we are now on our platform. Now I just need to find a beaver and get its attention. When I do that, you will see that multiple beavers will pretty much want to come towards me. Uh, this whole lake is pretty much infested with beavers and I know there is a high level one here because I saw it. There's one there, but I don't see where it is. So having a look. And just being a bit patient does pay off. There's a beaver right there. So we'll try and aggro that guy. There's some beavers in the distance. So I'm going to get my long neck rifle out. We're going to use the bullets this time around. Uh, hopefully, yeah, that's a low level one. So if I can see it, I can aggro it from that distance. There's one right here. Okay. And let's load up. I'm going to wait for it so that it is facing the ramp. I don't want to hit it once it's or once it's in a corner of the trap don't forget over there we don't have ramps so what will happen is the beaver will aggro on to the corner of the trap and start hitting the ramps we don't want that they can do damage to wood and here we go we got one two anything else that's about it by the looks of things these are low level beavers but the strap also helps us clear them out that makes it easier for us when we do get that high level beaver once we find it. I know it is around here because I've seen it. So, and you can see there are damage numbers. That means the beavers are hitting something and what they are hitting is actually the ladder. Okay, we got some more coming in. Gonna wait for it. We don't want to aggro it. Okay, there's one coming right now. Oh, I lost aggro. Let's get its attention. All right. That guy got stuck underneath the ramps. That's fine. We got some more coming in. That's perfect. Anything else? All right. Let's get this guy's attention. Here he comes. Into the trap. And now we have a bunch of beavers at the bottom. We've got... Oh, is that the guy I want? Oh, wow. He's pretty far. <laughs> Let's get his attention. So that's the guy I was looking for. He should very easily make his way into the trap as long as I don't move off this platform right here. There's some more over there. Alright. 
And so from this point forth, I just take out the ones that I do not want and then focus on knocking out the one that I want to keep. You can use a long neck rifle. I suggest something that does a lot of damage. They do tend to have a decent amount of HP. And as you can see by the name tags, there are a ton of beavers underneath me. I don't really want to be falling off. Now, at this point, I do not recommend coming off the platform because you are taking out the beavers. And so others may spawn in the area. And uh, because you've already aggroed a ton of beavers, they might want to kill you as well. So I would not come off the ramp until you clear out the trap and then knock out the one that you want to tame that is my recommendation okay this might take a while so i will cut back to a time where i have cleared out most of the beaver here okay there's the one that i want and in the meantime we got another beaver that wanted to join the party so what they'll tend to do is they'll tend to run around in circles. As you can see, there's two more that I've just joined in. I've cleared out the beavers uh, that were initially in the trap, hoping only to have this guy. But as I said before, they will respawn, and uh, that is the case right there. These guys have respawned, and as I'm trying to knock out the high-level beaver, the others just kind of joined in and fell into the trap. So that's why I said you don't want to come off the platform until you have completed your task. And that is to clear out the beavers and knock out fully, knock out the one that you want to tame. After that, it should be all right. And then I recommend that you remove the ramps so that nothing else can find its way into the trap. That is always a good uh, precaution to take. Okay, so the beaver has been knocked out. I have starved it. Uh, you can use the starving method, and for this I do recommend using Dodo Dex. It is an amazing app. You can find this both for Android as well as iOS devices. Really good for taming creatures. Remember to take your cable back after you have tamed it, and then you can put the saddle on the beaver and ride it. Now, uh, I do have it blocked in by the wyvern, but that's fine. As you can see, it has curry weight that is pretty decent, and uh, I'd say an okay amount of health. Definitely a creature worth having. It does gather wood like a champion, so that is one of its main uh, skills. It does also have a saddle that allows you to craft stuff in its inventory. In terms of damage, it does not do that much damage, but do bear in mind when you are attacking creatures that are hitting you, if there's wood or uh, berries around, as you can see, it will harvest them as well as do damage to them, so do keep that in mind. Now, I do have the harvest uh, rate turned up here. That means I kind of get stuck in one place. Also, if you want to escape a dangerous creature, you can just go into the water. As you can see, it is a fairly fast swimmer. You can pretty much outswim most of the land creatures anyways. So, definitely a good method for escaping. Just make sure you have plenty of oxygen. In terms of wood, as you can see, it can gather loads of wood and uh, a little bit of thatch. But mostly wood. So if you ever need wood, a beaver is a good creature to have. And we still have this uh, stupid <laughs> uh, monkey on us. Might as well get rid of it because it's annoying right now. Obviously, the saddle does also offer some protection. That is pretty much it for this video. It was a bit of a longer video because... Obviously, I've done this on Ragnarok. Now, this area, for those that have played on Ragnarok, spawns in a lot of beavers. And I find this to be the best sort of trap for taming beavers because they do tend to spawn in groups anywhere they do spawn on the map. So, uh, that means I can kite all of the beavers into the trap. I am at a safe distance from them. And then I can take out the ones that I don't want and knock out the one that I want to tame. That is it for this video, folks. I do hope that you have enjoyed it and found it useful and informative. If you have, please don't forget to support me in the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself. And if you have just subscribed, why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel. Who knows, you might just enjoy them. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos and content to the channel. Also, for those interested, you can always find me on the Sethtopia Discord. Links to this, of course, you can find down below in the video's description as well as in a pinned comment from myself. Until next time. Stay safe, folks.